So um, I want to take a moment to introduce you to everyone out there. This man right here is Oliver. He is a friend of mine, very dear friend of mine. He's an herbologist and uh, Oliver studied at the School of Natural Healing, uh, which Dr. Christopher set up in about 1953, I believe. And he's had a solid relationship with plants and and herbs and been interested in it for over 16 years. Good to see you. Good to talk with you. You too. Thank you so much for doing this. So I just wanted to start out um, by telling a little story and hopefully you can help me with it because you may remember details that I don't. And um, I had met Oliver, oh, several years ago. And one day I was in my backyard and I was gardening all day. Um, it was a really hot day. I hadn't really drank enough that day and I started to feel tired and thought, oh, I need to take a break. So I went in the house and started washing my hands and my heart started beating really hard and fast. And I, it kind of made me dizzy for a moment and I thought, oh, okay, I need to calm down. So I was just trying to breathe real slow. Um, about that time, um, Oliver walked in to the kitchen where I was washing my hands. He said, can you see my heart beating out of my chest? Cause it wasn't slowing down. And, um, immediately Oliver just kind of went into action, assessing the situation. And, um, a couple other friends walked in the kitchen and, and Oliver was asking them, where's the cayenne pepper? Where's the cayenne pepper? And I started feeling, um, really severe pain in my chest. And it radiated all the way down my left arm. Um, at that point, somebody pulled out a chair and, and I just sat in it. And um, they actually had to hold me in the chair. Um, but I was aware of everything that was going on around me in the room. And so I don't, I'm kind of foggy here what happened. But I know that um, Oliver fixed some cayenne pepper for me and some water uh, and and had me drink it right away. And why don't you tell us about that, Oliver? Sure, so as soon as I saw that you were really white in the face, not getting enough blood and, and having chest pain, I thought you might be having a heart attack. And so of course we uh, got you to the emergency room but the first thing I wanted to do is get a bunch of cayenne pepper and mix it in some water and get you to drink it. And uh, I six I luckily I was there and uh, did manage to get you to drink the cayenne pepper, which isn't always uh, easy to do for for people. But I was pretty serious about it. <laughs> yeah, I was really resistant to drinking cayenne pepper. I remember that much. Yeah. Um, but it did it did bring back the color in your face after it was pretty fast acting. You went from being pretty much totally white to having the color come back. And uh, then we were able to take you to the car and get you to the emergency room to get checked out and everything. But um, it has been uh, very helpful for stopping heart attacks. Uh, and it's uh, probably one of the first things that uh, we learn in the herbal first aid cor course at that school of natural healing so I always wondered if uh, I'd ever see it be used and then I was right there in the kitchen while you seemed to have an episode and so uh, fortunately we got some in you and so it's the potassium and the capsaicin which is an irritant that which really stimulates the blood flow and uh, the potassium probably helped a lot because it's such a high potassium content and it's such a perfect food for your heart and for anyone even uh you know any time 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 of day you can um if you're feeling some chest pain and your heart needs some food basically some cardiac food uh the cayenne is so good for you dr christopher had a serious heart condition and uh he helped a lot of people actually reverse their heart conditions by of course, changing their diets, but also he would drink uh, three cayenne tea three times a day, one teaspoon, and then he would use incorporate hawthorn and probably wheat germ oil. And there's many other herbs that are good for the heart. But um, if you you over the course of a few years uh, sort of rebuild your heart, because it's probably takes the longest thing to 
to rebuild, to regenerate. Uh, all the parts of your body are regenerating really fast, but I think the brain and the heart take the longest. So it takes years, but with cayenne every day, Hawthorne every day, um, you can prevent future heart attacks. But of course, yeah, cayenne, number one, first aid herbs in all the kitchens. Very important to know about it. So great story to tell, to share. Yeah. Yeah, the, the doctors were even amazed when they got me in the emergency room. Immediately, they started hooking me up to machines, and they started running an IV and did an EKG, and they even sent me and had me checked for a stroke. And when they were all done with the results, the doctor was standing in the doorway, kind of leaning up against the doorway, and he's reading his paperwork. And he asked me a few more questions because I told them in the beginning when I got there that my friend had given me cayenne pepper. And... um so the doctor was asking me a few more questions and then he says, well, you know, you're one lucky lady. I think that your friend just saved your life. And uh, he said, all the tests came back okay. And they released me. And so that was one of the things that was a huge pivotal moment for me in my life as far as getting healthier and eating better and paying more attention to my body. And I do remember you suggesting to use the hawthorn berry after that. And I did have, I was diagnosed with a heart condition and, and I'm genetically predisposed to that. So I started using hawthorn berry after that. And I've read and done a little research on this. And there's lots of cases where uh, people say, yes, use cayenne pepper, especially in an emergency. Usually people will go for aspirin. But I think you were telling me earlier that um the cayenne pepper gets in there and, and works faster than aspirin isn't that right well it, it as soon as it hits your tongue you feel it starting to work right so yeah pretty yeah i don't know how long exactly it takes the aspirin to dissolve but they would use the aspirin i guess as a blood thinner mm -hmm. you know where the cayenne is also sort of going to summon a, a lot of blood flow to anywhere it touches and so by taking that huge shot of it will definitely get the blood definitely get it pumping yeah that's for sure well thank you again so much oliver i appreciate you so much i am um, i'm really grateful that you were there that day and that you're my friend thank you nice to speak with you give me a call anytime okay thank you